RYDF helps us a lot with uh, well, almost every tournament with the uh, hotel. That it's one of the expenses. Without them, I don't think I could go to every tournament to play. Well, I love racquetball and I want to be the best. I want to be one of the youngest players to ever win a title or the US Open. Welcome back, folks. Gary Mazarov, I'm joined with Karen Gris in the booth. Karen, thanks for joining us. Hi, Gary, good to see you. Welcome to an IRT tournament. It's great to have you as a guest commentator this week. Thank you so much. It's been a while, as I was telling our viewers during the first match. This is doubles. We've had two singles matches. Yep. Congratulations to Momo and to Beltran for earning a spot in the round of 16. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. We have, Momo is a local player, we're always happy to see that. <laughs> absolutely, so uh, we have Bredenbeck and Mania, household team, versus Miller and Warragon. You know them, so yep. why don't yep. you let the folks out there know a little bit about them, uh, Karen? Yeah, sure, so you know our, our hometown favorites, Troy Warragon and Maurice Miller, uh, Troy is, you know, grows, grew up in the Maryland area. His father, Slimo, is putting on this amazing tournament, you know, for the IR, for us and the IRT. So we're very excited to be back here in Cerverta Park. And and him and Maurice play doubles together a lot. They're a very exciting team, uh, very fast, especially Troy. Uh, Troy loves to dive, so I'm sure we'll see some great action there. And um, what on paper would probably be the favorites, Mania and Bredenbeck. Uh, you know, you have Jake the Beast Bredenbeck. Uh, he's a powerhouse. He's a big guy, you know, really good doubles player. Adam Mania has been, you know, coming up in the ranks over the last, year, you know, two years. He's really been putting a focus on his professional racquetball career, and I think this will be really exciting. I think the last time I blinked my eyes three times, and here we are, like, uh, almost ten years later, we were back in Cali. <laughs> uh, Columbia and Mania was playing in the finals of the 18 yep. doubles. Yep. And here we are. And his folks are here too, Victor and Nancy. Mm -hmm. It's always good to have the Manias in the house. And uh, who's the new father? So Maurice Miller. Maurice Miller. Yep, he's a relatively new dad. I, I'm probably going to get how long ago it was, but it's, it's best, definitely within the last year. So probably more like four to six months. I think it's been pretty recent, but might be a little off on that. Maybe somebody in the chat can tell us. Yeah. Um, but I know he is a relatively new dad, so he did take a little bit of time off from racquetball. Busy with that, but it's great to see him back on the court. And we should be getting started with this in just a few minutes. I think everybody's kind of warmed up, but... Um, what are you looking forward to in this match, Gary? Absolutely. Uh, Bredenbeck, Mania in the red, Miller, Watergon in the black, and our head here is Karim Carrasco. Uh, he would rather be watching because he lost the previous match and uh, first rounds at least we have losers officiate. Hopefully that will change in the future. <laughs> Best, best of three, folks, 15-15. If it goes the third, it will be 11 points, win by one. Regular scoring. Karen, excited. you lived in this area for a while. Uh, yep. I want to thank the club for hosting this event. Yep, I, you know, I lo we love this club. Santa Park is one of the old school, you know, family-owned clubs loves having tournaments they've got seven racquetball courts that you know they love having us here we have the irt here we run an lpr stop in december as well so we have the lady pros come in december um although we have quite a few of them here um too so i'm excited for that <laughs> uh it's a great way to kick off the kind of the racquetball season and we're just getting started absolutely thank you so Miller and Warrigan have earned the serve. They find themselves coming in, 0-1, game one. Great get there by Maurice. Nice 
nice pass. That's a handout, those new to the game. First team that serves, first half inning, if you will, in each game, only one player serves thereafter. Both players have the opportunity. So this is the second server, 0-1, game one. This will be interesting for Maurice and Troy um, because they are playing a left and righty team. There are not actually too many um, men's doubles pairs that are lefty righties. So it's not, they don't see it every day. You tend to see it a lot more in mixed, I think. <laughs> oh, well oh, good try. Great get by Minia there. There was a first dive by Troy. I did say in the beginning, Troy does first love to dive. Of first of many to <laughs> first come. First of sure many. <laughs> so it's 2 0. <laughs> Safety hold up. So, He's okay. looking for a call, not getting it. Just a replay. I want to thank all our fans for joining us on this Friday afternoon. Hopefully you're not working too hard. <laughs> Crowd's filling in. Soon to be standing room only. Adam tries the behind the back shot. Didn't quite work. Adam Mania lives in California now. Hails from the Denver area in Colorado. It was a good inning, Karen, for the locals. That's Nobody home left pass. side, pass. Yep. Hand out. That's, same that's score, the challenge Karen. with same having score. a lefty on the left side, right? Yeah. That, you gotta be very careful of that shot because he'll do it. So we have a uh, safety concern. Safety thong looks like it broke from this oh, racket. Oh, it broke the So in, in U.S. String. play, folks, in U.S. play, that would be a timeout. But I'm confident in IRT that it's not. There's only one timeout per game in the IRT set of rules. Just yes. like the IRF. That, that's right. They, if, if there's an equipment, quote unquote, timeout, um, they are allowed to change out a racket. If they break a string, if the talent, you know, the, something falls off, if their goggles break, whatever happens, they are allowed to take a timeout. They are, can run off the court, but they can't get any water. They can't towel themselves down. Their partner can't go with them. Everybody else has to stay on the court. So it just has to be a very quick exchange there. And you saw that one actually. Um, Troy didn't even get off the court. He just had somebody else hand him a racket. Yeah, well put. Well, looks yeah. like they called a handout on that. Same score, three, uh, zero, 0-3. Maurice wanted a replay there. I kind of agree with him. I think he, his racket was there. There was bodies in front of him. I'm not quite sure why he wouldn't yeah. get the replay there, but... That ball cleared out yep. of bounds. <laughs> and if it goes without bouncing out of bounds, it's a loss of ground. Great snap forehand. Beautiful reflexes there by Troy. Short hopped it. Quick hands from Bredenbeck. Ditto, Mania. Oh, Jake skipped it in. J 
Shake would like a do-over on that one. He doesn't get it. <laughs> Meanwhile, the local favorites, 0-3, game one. I want to thank all our sponsors all weekend. We'll be thanking them. Please support them in this tournament. We've got so many people who are willing to help us. And, you know, our IRT tour sponsor, Gearbox, and my pillow. And we have friends of the tour, Gene Friday, Kerr, and others who are so helpful to us. And we have so many people, Zurich Foundation, constructing athletes, building people. We have... You know, our local constructors, you can see their names on the court, front of the courts. So you can find them on the R2 Sports page, too, as well. So we want to thank everybody for. Well put, Karen. Without their support, we wouldn't be here. Exactly. So it's 3-0, Redenbeck. Well, so far, we seem to be going around and around in circles. Redenbeck and Mania got a couple points. and. Nobody's really gotten anything in a little while here now. <laughs> He's been serving that drive left side. Yeah. And Miller needs to rip it. A little gun shy it appeared that time. And the ball cleared out of the court. Loss of rally. 4-0, game one. Well, Karen, you said this is a mom and pop uh, club. Love to see it, it's still in business. It's been around for decades, has it not? Oh yeah, it's been here. I'm not sure when it opened, but it's yes, it's definitely been here for decades. It's we've been. I mean, I've been in this area for 20 years, and one of my first clubs I ever came to was here, and. The club had been here a long time then. <laughs> um, but they've always been so supportive when we want to have tournaments. In addition to this tournament and the LPRT I have in December, um, they have two other really big amateur tournaments um, every year. And they're just they're just so supportive of, of I mean, they love having the pros here, but they love having the amateurs here too. They just love being able to use the courts for, and seeing so many enthusiastic people come and play and su support, you know, support the club and support the tournaments. So. Uh, these are some of the biggest tournaments we have in the area, and, and we just love it. So thank you so much to Severna Park Racquetball and Fitness Club. And we're like 10 minutes from BWI Airport, so if you're oh. ever in the area, come and check it out. It's a, it's a cool club. It's got a bar. It's got viewing for all the courts up, you know, from up above. This wonderful stadium court in front of us. There's all kinds of you know stadium step seating for people so a lot of people can watch this match just a really so good setup back at the ranch it's 0-6 game one Man. point number one All right. on that's good they dice mean. in espanol on arroyo <laughs> uno seis Good to see them get a point after they let Jake and Adam get a few in a row there. Whoa. Again, out of court, without a bounce. I'm not convinced at this altitude you're going to see a ball bounce and leave the court. <laughs> but uh, when it does happen, no, we'll that, that would for, be a we'll point. Indeed. <laughs> Nobody calls us the Mile High City, however. But uh, ball goes directly out of the court, folks. It's a loss of rally for whoever hit the ball. The score may not reflect it, Karen, but it uh, seems to me that Maurice and Troy are holding their own on the court. Yeah, I mean, they let you know they had the three, the first three points, and then they didn't, didn't let them get any points for a while, and then they got another kind of three quick points. They got back in the box. They got a point themselves. That can happen in doubles. It can, you know, the momentum can change very quickly. 
That's a great shot, though, by Adam. Yeah. Jake Bredenbeck, Minnesota, USA. That was a little, thank you for not killing me. <laughs> so that was a dead ball hinder called by Carrasco. Replay, first serve, 6-1. Quite sure what happened there. Maurice is looking confused. Adam's looking confused. There's a wet spot somewhere. And we have a towel timeout sponsored by Zurich Foundation. Francisco Fajardo supports the tour, supports many of the players on the tour. And we appreciate his support through the Zurich Foundation. Jake serving. Safety hold up, Karen. Yep. Now it goes to the subjective opinion of the referee. Is it a dead ball hinder replay or is it an avoidable or point hitter, whatever you want to call it. Bottom line is. Oh, you were there, Maurice. There was a block on that. So it could have been called an avoidable. And I think we have a timeout. So we'll go to a quick commercial break and we'll be back. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I want to give each and every one of you one last chance to get my original My Slippers. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen now. Use your promo code, and you'll get your very own My Slippers for only $49.98. That's $90 off and the biggest savings ever. What makes My Slippers different is my exclusive four-layer design that you won't find in any other slippers. My slippers patented layers make them ultra comfortable, extremely durable, and they help reduce stress on your feet. Not only that, they come with an indoor outdoor sole so you can wear them anytime, anywhere. I guarantee they'll be the most comfortable slippers you'll ever own. And now you can get them for the best savings ever, only $49.98. Go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen now to get your very own My Slippers for only $49.98. That's $90 off. We have extremely low quantities, and once they're gone, they're gone. So order now. Back live, Karen, Gary, we're here with Rodrigo. Front row center. This is the first. Doubles match in round of 16, first game. Seven in favor of Bredenbeck and Mania over Miller and Warragon. Yep. I hope you'll watch us all day today. We have matches going on all day, singles and doubles. Um, in between games, we'll try to figure out what's going to come on next so we can give you the lineup. Oh, fine. Quick, t quick towel timeout. Shake serving seven one. Point score at 8-1. Yeah, it's good then. Uh, I thought it was good. They'll, they'll reverse it. Yeah, that last shot was good, it appeared, yeah, Karen. I thought so too. So, but. Sports person right here. Oh, that's a great shot by Adam. He was about a foot from the front wall when he hit that. Yeah, a lot of power on that. Handcuffed Maurice. So it should be 9 1.
First to 15 wins. Same with game two. If it goes to the third tiebreak, it would be 11 points. Well down. Good shot by Adam. So, Karen, what do the local favorites have to do to get back into this game? Uh, they have to work to shoot the ball in the middle more. They're giving, giving Anthony away too many setups, and, you know, somebody has to go to Maurice and say, hey, he's a lefty. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard to adjust the doubles game to that if you're not used to doing it to try to, to get the mindset of shoot everything in the middle. So you the back and he's just going to take way too many sidewall shots. Mar Maurice has been putting the serve in the middle, but not hard enough. Consequently, Adam's been able to run around his backhand and his forehand to set him up. Let's see if he changes that, pushes it lower and harder on the serve. Yep. So it's 11 1. No less than they need to get some momentum going into game two. All right, and we, we're changing sides here. Let's see if that All right. does anything. It's always good to do something different. Absolutely, it doesn't work, no loss. <laughs> Safety hold up, side out call. No, side out. Okay, so that's called an avoidable or a point hinder in US. <laughs> Failure to move or block. Bottom line, the offending team loses that rally. Mm -hmm. I think that one was a good call. He was set up with his forehand, Absolutely. ready to swing at it. Absolutely. Bottom line, first and foremost, safety. Hold up and then let the referee make his or her. There's so. a rare skip by Minnie on the forehand. Two eleven, game one. Good get by Jake there. Maurice wants a call of some kind. Didn't think he got it, maybe. Call a stand, half out. Troy serving from the left. Short serve. Ball must cross that short line, the one in the middle of the court, 20 feet from both the front and back wall. Oh, that great, was a great, great shot. hands. Great hands. <laughs> short hopped it. Perfect placement. Mania was over more toward the middle that time, and he was able to get it past him. Oh, great shot by Troy. He waited for that. He knew Mania was going to hit it right at him, stuck out his racket, and made it work. Meanwhile, fourth point on a roll here. Change the serve, backhand, Z. So, ball called down, five points. Strange things happen. <laughs> we saw it in, game, in the first match with Zelada defeating Acuna. Could it happen here? Yeah, I, yes, I it see, could. I didn't see the end of that match, but when I, when I heard the score at one point, he was losing quite heavily. So, nice to see him come back. And that's a good win for Momo. I mean, Acuna's, you know, world champion. <laughs> Down in the world games, and it's a really good win for him. 2022, actually 2021, it was delayed one year. World Games champ Andres Acuna from Costa Rica got defeated by... Mauricio Zelada, Momo, local favorite. Oh, handout called. Adam wanted, Adam wanted the replay, saying he could get there, and I think the ref decided that if he tried to get to it, Jake might have run, he might have run into Jake instead, right? <laughs> instead yep. of running into Troy. <laughs> you don't want to run into Troy. Reverse. 
direction. Ball down. So Carrasco, our head official, calls the ball down. Troy agreed, he shook his head. <laughs> Free timeout, a towel timeout, if you will. Mm -hmm. Safety on the court, number one concern. Sponsored by Zurich Foundation, our towel timeout. Nice. <laughs> Constructing athletes and building people. That's their motto. Thank you for the support. Two points from game one. Mania serving with his partner, Bredenbeck. Uh, broken ball. ball. Replay that point, first serve. Forced error, Miller. Game point number one, Karen. Yeah. A great shot. Again, good anticipation by Troy. So they stave off game point number one. Coming in to serve. Let's see if they can converge the score. 514. I think even if they get a few more points here, it'll help them going into the next game. Um, assuming they don't win this game, but um, they can at least kind of get a few points. There it is. Ball cracked. The, just give them some momentum to give them some confidence. As you said, confidence 614. There we go, a serve in the middle. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, Troy missed the backhand. All right, they didn't get that point, but I did like that they finally served into the backhand. And if you saw, Mania didn't go after it, and Jake, yeah. Jake almost kind of like, like, oh, they I'm did. supposed to get that. They did everything, <laughs> everything but win that rally. Yep. Total control. Coming back with that high Z lob at the backhand. Oh. Uh, lazy shot. Mm -hmm. Into the floor, so he went, it's. He went for the gimmick. Game point number two. Shot by Minia, forehand. They close it out, 15 to six. Karen, your thoughts on that game? Um, you know, I think Adam actually was the difference in that game. I thought he played really tough. Not that Jake didn't play badly at all, but Minia was the one putting the balls away on the forehand side. We'll be back, folks. Thank you for tuning in. city of water. Twelve miles of light rail system. Nine point five miles of fully enclosed Skyway network. 
the Twin Cities have been the host of the U.S. Open Racquetball Championships for over a decade. We are coming back. The ancient Greeks had four words for love. The most admirable is called agape. Love as an action. For 175 years, New York life has been helping people act on their love. So they can look back or look ahead and say, we got it right. We did good. We're here at the show court. Severna Park Racquetball and Fitness Club in Millersville, Maryland, outside of Baltimore. Karen, so you like the idea that the local favorites, Miller and Warragon, started serving up the middle. I agree with you at the first times few times they were doing that, they didn't put enough pace on the ball, and Mania was able to run around his backhand and do something powerful with that forehand. And uh, then they, they, they changed by hitting it lower and harder, so he had to use his backhand. Consequently, they got on a roll and got to six. So let's see if, if they can keep that momentum up here in game two. They have the serve. Yep, let's see if, let's see if they can do it. They're staying with their um, reversed, reversed playing strategy with Troy on the left. Um, you know, like I said again, Mania is kill killing them with their with his forehand right now, so they need to keep it out of there if they can, whether it be on the serve or during the during the. Race. Good start. Nice shot. Miller, right side, roll out. Thank you for watching us in the chat. You have Karen Grizz and Gary Mazaroth. Hi, Joanne. It's okay that you thought I was Sandy. <laughs> Sandy's not here this weekend, unfortunately, my good friend Sandy. Todd Boss is in the chat box. He will be up here with us tomorrow. I think he's gonna be some, doing some commentating. Rod Southwood is watching. Hi, Rod. Hello to Carrie from Omaha. Love to see it. Jesse in South Southern California. Great to have you with us. Please share our feed with your friends. Just starting game two, a little bit of talking to the referee there. Troy is serving one nothing. Ball down, ball down. I'm gonna replay that. First Troy, serve. Troy was making a mad dash to the front of the court and had to kind of go around Minia, so. Great shot there. Just with the doctor order, Karen. Yep. Good start for the local favorites, Maurice and Troy. Troy serving, 2-0. Oh, that's a great backhand by Jake. A little bit of a miss hit there, but you know what? We'll take it. <laughs> Some of the greatest shots are miss hits. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes good. better to be lucky than good, right? Good things happen when you swing at the ball. So, reverse Z attempt, long. 
First game, he was driving that ball into the left side wall. But then again, as you mentioned, the receiving team had flipped. You got a different receiver over there now. He raised his hand. I'm not sure for what. Didn't get a call. Once again, Mania puts in that forehand from the front of the court. One three. We'll fix our scoreboard. There we go. Troy wants a screen on the serve, maybe? Not in doubles. I'm not really sure what he... Not sure. I'm not sure what he wants, but... A lot of dialogue outside the court. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Play ball, folks. One three. Well, Jake and Adam got that point. It's two points. So Missed backhand skip there. So it's 3-3. Three, three. That's the serve he was doing in the first game. He came back to it. A jam up the middle. Actually, technically, that's more of a wraparound. <laughs> First serve, Bredenbeck. Handcuffed him. Point. Timeout on the floor. So we'll stay here. Gary Mazarov, Karen Griss. Okay. Four serves three. So this this score's a little closer so far. We'll see if they can keep it up. Hi, everybody. How are you? Welcome. Welcome. It's great to be working with you. I haven't seen you in a while. I know. And you had it's some shoulder surgery. Congratulations <laughs> on the success of that operation. Yeah. yeah, I'm not playing yet, but I am on my road to recovery. And luckily in this video, you don't see me with my big sling on because I took it off. So. Um, but yes, I, I am looking forward to be back on the court, hopefully in a couple of months, and uh, get back out there and be competitive like everybody else. <laughs> and so uh, this is a pro, pro stop on the IRT uh, tour. I believe next year you're going to have 14 stops. That's significant. Yeah, we should have a full we should have a full schedule. Where, you know, this is this is kicking off our season, so looking forward to it. We'll be at the U.S. Open. And, you know, in two weeks, and we're really looking forward to that. We're going to have a great draw for that. I think we've got, like, 70 players signed up for that. Oh, wonderful. Uh, so that's going to be amazing. We're doing the our IRT 21 there, which is our junior draw division for, for the up-and-coming juniors, which we're really excited about that program. So, uh, and then, yeah, and then we've got Florida, and we've got Portland, and... Whole slate of events. And I'm sure I'm missing one or two, one or two other ones in between. I apologize to everybody, but you can find our schedule on irttour.com. Ball called down by Carrasco. Score in game two is 5-3. It was 0-3, now it's 5-3. They won the first, 15-6. Drop shot winner, soft hands, quick feet, Mania, left side. Another towel timeout. This is the round of 16 doubles. Later on today, we'll resume singles play, the round of 16 as well. Oh, and our, so our next match that we're going to be streaming will be at 4 o'clock. It's going to be singles. It's going to be Kane Wasilenchuk versus Thomas Carter. 
And starting after 4 o'clock, we'll have matches going on kind of all evening. So 4, 5, 6, 7 o'clock, I think we'll be going through singles and doubles for the rest of the evening. So we'll have a little break after this one, but we'll start up again at 4 o'clock with a... 4 o'clock Eastern, Eastern Daylight Eastern time, time, folks. Eastern time, yep. Here in Metro Baltimore. You're watching doubles at its finest. Mania and Bredenbeck. Mania on the left, Bredenbeck on the right. We have Ortegon on the left receiving and Miller on the right. Yeah, so we had that timeout and now Bredenbeck and Mania got three points in a row. So let's see if Miller and Oregon can stop this tie. There's another point. It's what we call an empty timeout, folks. They have zero timeouts left. Do not stop the bleeding. shot. Maurice put his hand up but then killed it. <laughs> Let's see if he still wants a replay. I think Kadeem didn't say anything so it's half out. So eight serving three. That ball on the fly carried into the third wall, front wall, right side wall, left side wall on the fly. It's a long serve, fault serve. Handcuff to the opponent on the left side, mm -hmm. another point. Moving closer to an opportunity in the quarterfinals of doubles. Team in red, serving. Helicopter ball. Through his legs. Back up top. Mania. Oh, no, good get. No, wow. great shots. <laughs> Great anticipation by all four of the players on that point. Dave Staub is watching from Seattle. Hi, Dave. Hi, Maddie. Maddie's a local. Welcome, Senior Schlepp from Seattle. Erica Mania, Adam's sister, is watching. Hey, Erica. Hopefully, we'll see you out here in December. Name from the past, living in North Carolina now, Al Shipman, Shipman from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took, took the trip down south, Karen. He did, quite a number of years ago, I believe, so. <laughs> Long ball, two serves, IRT play. Oh, here we go, we've got, it says Chuckles Anthony is watching from Alaska. I like it. I like it. On the big screen, too. All right, he's got it connected to his television set. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> That's what we like to hear. Chuckles, we saw your name and we smiled. It's got to be early morning in Alaska, or at least morning in Alaska. What's the time difference? Five hours, six hours? Hour difference. All right, well, now we have 13 3. So after that timeout, Morgan and Miller have um, not been able to get anything going here, unfortunately. Two points from the match. Mania serving. Back. Half C lob. Winner, Bredenbeck. Yep. Match point number one. He had to set up there. Jake's not going to miss that. So once again, we'll be back here at 4 o'clock with Kane and Wasilanchuk and Thomas Carter, and then plan to grab a drink, have a cocktail, make dinner, 
and just watch us all night because we'll, once we start at 4 o'clock, we'll be going for, for probably at least five matches, I think. Replay. Mania. Hello, Tamika. Good friend. Down in North Carolina now. Good get by Adam. And once again, the forehand winner. And we had 14, but it doesn't look like it's over yet. <laughs> so probably 14 now. Sorry about that. Either that or they're playing to 16. 14 3. Game to point and here. match point. Troy just can't get that back in down. There he does, he finally does. All right, they get back in the box. Not over yet. Oh, this is what I love. All right, Mr. Chuckles Anthony says, it's 9.40 a.m. on the big screen at a local restaurant. Everybody is watching and enjoying. I love that, that's amazing. Oh my gosh, that is so amazing. Everybody's having brunch on Friday, I guess. They're watching at a big screen in a restaurant. I love that. That's fantastic. I hope you do that all weekend. So yeah, once again, four o'clock Eastern time. Probably watching in other parts of the country. Clock out in California. Adjust it for Alaska. <laughs> Point. Nice shot there. 4 14, game number two. Can they force a tie break? That would be a big ask right now. Um, not saying it can't happen, not saying it's never happened. Adam and Jake are very focused, playing very well. And Adam and he is not missing that forehand. I think he missed one the whole match. There was one skip, but. So match point number two. Uh, Sandy Rios is watching. Hi, Sandy. Yes, we'll see you in the weeks at the US Open. Can't wait. Smile, Sandy. Smile, dear. Skip ball there. But that was a backhand notice. It was not a forehand. I do think Adam, like I said, I think Adam's going, I think he skipped the whole match. <laughs> that was a great shot there by Troy. Never say die. Three, <laughs> match, time. three match points saved. Yep. Miller serving 4-14 game two. He goes for the high ball. Skip ball. Second server, Oregon. First name. Mania up top. Adams. Oh, oh nice. he skipped the easy forehand. Tried to push it just a little too much instead of taking a swing. All right, Jake serving for the match again. Short serve. Half out. So what happened there, folks? It's a fault serve, first serve, second serve hit his partner in the du doubles box. Double fault. Hand out. Somebody in the chat asked who is the girl talking. This is Karen Grizz. I help out on the IRT. I'm the IRT treasurer. So I make sure all the players get paid. And I uh, occasionally guest commentate when I'm at the tournaments. And thank you for coming. <laughs> so, serving team, Miller, Oregon. 
save another match point. Yep. Great shot by, no, yep, great shot by Jake. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, reverse rollout, <laughs> Jake. Daniel said, you thank you, you sound important. I didn't mean to make myself sound important, Daniel. <laughs> I just know that not everybody knows who I am. <laughs> now I love, I love working with the players. It's a, it's a fun, fun hobby. <laughs> Oh, Fernando Batista, hello, my darling. Coming right at the end of the match. So good to hear your voice, Hope, or see your, your text on there. Hopefully I'll see you at the US Open. They'll replay it. Jake serving, first serve. Another match point. Good serve there. That's the setup. And, and they close it match. out. Two games to zero in favor of Mania and Bredenbeck over Oregon and Miller, as Karen said so eloquently. We'll be back 4 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time here for a round of 16 singles. Yep. Thomas Kane. Carter and Kane, Wassel and Chuck. Yep, and that'll just be the kickoff of the evening. So please join us and plan to stick around. And we will see you all later.